Episode 69. This is not damn time. Do I have to say the hey guys, this is David here thing? Yes, you do. Alright, hey guys, it's David here. And uh, welcome to another Ordering Chaos discussion. This one is obviously about the uh, level 70 update that we just had. I'm joined by a new guest star today. Her name is the Great Kiaria. Kiaria the Great. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. I guess it's Kiaria the Great. <laughs> We're just going to be uh, discussing the ups and downs of this update, like a roller coaster. It has like ups and downs, you know? I don't even know what a roller coaster is. Are you serious? Oh, oh wait, you live in like Hawaii, so. I... There's no roller coasters there? It's just like, it's um, all ocean? I used to live in Florida, okay? Shut up. Oh. Well, Florida, like, that's all underwater, too, so, like, do you usually... No. Do you just live on, like, a little a little 4 by 4 foot island? Yeah, I don't even know how I get Wi-Fi here. I have no idea. It's, like, at the end of the world. Coconuts. Wait, what are we talking about? Alright, so, this level 70 update uh, actually increased the level cap to 70, believe it or not. It added two new continents which are the Underrealm and the Eternal Frostland. And when you look at these two maps compared to all of the other ones, they look like insane. And I feel like not going to the other maps because they look so boring compared to these. So yeah. yeah, there's tons of stuff on the new continents. What's what's your favorite continent of the two? I like the Frostland one because it's icy. Oh, because like in Hawaii, there's no ice, right? no snow. Oh my god, shut up. Okay, what's your reasoning behind it then? Uh, I don't know. Because the Underrealm's scary. It's scary. all dark and scary. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. But what's your... The... I don't know. What? How'd you like questing? Did you quest? Oh yeah, I quested for like maybe half a level. Wow, cool kid. Yeah. I haven't done any of the Underrealm quests. There's a quest in Underrealm that if you do it, um, the reward is a bind on equips and it's no level so it's like basically spear roaring stuff and it's really cool for wow. level ones, OP level ones. I think the first thing I did on this update was I spent $50 on a mount. <laughs> really? Oh, you got the, got the, the yak? The fat yak. Wow. What? It's like five times your size, right? Yeah, but it's awesome. Wow, it's a good use of money. And then the first thing you did was Lotto and you got a sigil. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I got a Holly sigil on my monk uh, by spending <laughs> 30 runes. And by the way, if you guys don't know, I don't have a Holly or, and it's definitely not upgraded, but I got like 500 PMs and then people were posting on Glassboard because I guess I'm famous or whatever. But yeah. I'm never getting the hammer sigil. <laughs> I I don't even fucking care anymore. I'm done with that. I'm not gonna spend. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep spending runes to get it. I really don't. It's gonna so be funny when you do lotto for something you actually need. Like. And, and then I, I get know, the hammer sigil. Else, and oh then my you god. Get it at yeah. 70. Probably at 80 actually, like when it's way past time. <laughs> Have you grinded at all? Like. Yeah, I grinded till. 64 because I was not gonna waste my freaking time doing those two stupid butts that like people stand on their mounts. Well, I started doing that too, just to piss people off. But uh -huh. that was irritating as fuck. Yeah, I, I, I did like, or I tried to do some quests at Desert and Underrealm, but it was just way too crowded and way too laggy. And some of the quests yeah. didn't even work. I, I mean, I've grinded like every level on most of my characters, mm -hmm. but yeah, I've, I, I, don't feel like doing underrealm quests at all. Yeah, I started doing the quests because I wanted the gear, and um, I guess that was easier because before everyone started discovering all the elite places, Toxic showed me them, and you would do that. Yeah. And it was fun. But then everyone came and took over, so I was like, fuck off. Yeah, like the first day of the update, uh, two of my guildies found a really good place, like, uh, to farm level 70s and they, yeah. they got to 70 like 12 hours but then like the next day everyone found out about it <laughs> so Johnny right? huh? that was Johnny and um, uh Johnny and Micah yeah yeah then Toxic told me where they were 
mm -hmm. she wouldn't tell me. <laughs> yeah. Well, now it's pointless to go there because it's just completely overcrowded. It's stupid. What me and Alf did was we went there and we stood on our maps because Alf has a map. And we just stood on spawn points and people got really pissed. Yeah, I think honestly, like, grinding is only good the first few days because eventually people are going to get, like, a lot of people are going to be grinding. Uh, from level 64 to 65, apparently you have to grind in order to yeah. get quests. And also, people are just gonna feel like grinding all the way to 70 like I have. So, yeah. soon it's yeah. gonna get overcrowded. So the only way you can do that 70 by grinding is like in a month when everyone's already 70. You can grind your alts. Yeah. So that's just too much. I was actually amazed that I was able to get my monk to 70 because I, I didn't think I'd get him 70 for like a month, but... Luckily, I'm in Xenocide, so I have a bunch of guildies who are willing to help, and of course they benefit themselves as well. Some of the mobs like didn't really need healing, so I didn't feel that useful, but that's like the easy level 70s, but then after those started getting crowded, yeah, um, like, I was actually useful, so. I don't get how you got to 70 so fast because you're healing too. I know, I'm just pro. And I stayed, up. I stayed yeah. up till 7 in the morning leveling one day. <laughs> totally not addicted. Yeah, I know. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. We I mean, can quit whenever we want yeah, to. Yeah, I could right quit now. right now, but no, I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe in like two years. And then what's another upside? What do you think is a uh, good thing about the update? Huh, can't really think of anything. It's hard to yeah. think of like upsides and downsides. I'm just like thinking of cool things in the game, really. The, I don't really get the... How are we going to get T3? I actually figured it out. Uh, apparently for crafting like for the essence of god you have to get to legendary crafting and then there's like fragments of uh god that you craft i think it's either that or like it's from world bosses i'm not really sure about the essence of god thing but you can always buy those yeah and then the mechanical gears like the other currency thing that you need you get from these five dailies at level 70 which you get at a uh, generator's temple and the dailies are extremely mm -hmm. hard like, you have to have a full team with you to do them. And uh, you get one of those, they're called mechanical gears for each of the dailies. So you get, like, five a day. If you guys haven't seen the gear yet, it's, like, anywhere from 25 to 70 or more of those uh, of those things that you need for certain items. Yeah, it seemed like it wasn't going to be as easy as souls, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely it's not. Soul what about the exchange camp? What was that about? That is the exchange camp. So that, wait, I thought people said you could exchange your damn gear. Nope, that was before the update, but now we realized you can't. <laughs> like, it's it's so all a scam. Sell it then? I wouldn't sell all of it, because some of your gear is probably still better than some of the 70 gear. Well, I mean my healer gear. Well, if you don't want to be a healer, then yeah, probably. Screw healing. Hey, let's calm down. <laughs> hey, well, you're my healer, so there. Yeah, I'm the only good healer. <laughs> Like, right. Basically, you're better than better than David. I got to oh, seventy before him. <laughs> I got to seventy like an hour before him. He was so mad. <laughs> I told him I was like, I bet you you're gonna. No, he's like to me, I'm gonna be the first monk to get seventy. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, that was me, by the way. So write it down in your OAC history books. Elf, my life, first monk to seventy. <laughs> Healer monk too. He switched yeah. to Millie. I told him. To yeah, he was a Millie, so I mean that that makes me a lot better. But yeah. Anyways, he also got the legendary hammer, so now I have something to throw in his face. Ah, you got that a long time ago, though. I know. A long, well, long time ago. Yeah, he was the first one, basically. But well, whatever. Yeah, who cares about that anymore? Him. It doesn't doesn't even matter. Oh yeah. Uh, one one downside that I want to talk about was souls, and uh, how they seem to be worthless now. There's nothing to buy for souls at the moment. Yeah, my friend, uh, well, Alf, I think, Green Air, I think they bought, like, random weapons and just put them on just to look cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily do that because it's possible in future updates we'll need souls again. But for this update, like, there's no new soul dailies, there's no soul items, so really it's pointless now. But if you have, like, 15 out of, or 1,500 out of 1,500 capped, I wouldn't necessarily spend all them. Yeah. You can always get them back though, so you can look, you can look cool for a few months, I guess, with uh, Kermode's Claw and whatever. Yeah, I bought T2 because I'm a noob and I didn't have T2. <laughs> you bought T2? Wow. Yeah, well I bought the shoulders because they're pretty. I see. 
Yeah. Yeah, actually, Millie, Millie T2 looks really cool. Millie is awesome now. Oh my god, I love Millie. It's yeah, that's, that's actually a really good upside of this update. Um, I've barely, like, played my Millie yet, but I've heard that they got buffed majorly. And, like, they, since, since the beginning awesome. of the game, they've been terrible, so can you tell us about that? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, like, fucking awesome how fast I can kill shit now. Uh -huh. So everyone who used to tell me that they didn't want me in their group because I'm a shit Millie and can suck off, suck a dick. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Yeah. And healers, you can now pray and move around. I know, that's that's awesome. There's like a lot of new upsides of each class, but like the main downside is that the talent trees basically suck. I know that dragon kick, you can't, you can only kick one person and that all interrupts a cast. Uh -huh. And mantis does not stun anymore. Is there a mantis still? Like yeah, I didn't even know. Oh, okay. So it doesn't stun, so basically it's pointless. Yeah, but I mean like the other cool thing is with Mantis is if you have a polar arm, that can become instant cast, so you can just spam Mantis a lot. Yeah. I don't know. What else what else is good about healing? Oh, tw twelve twelve second res cast. That's pretty yeah, that's shit. that's pretty awesome. The only good thing about res is that like it doesn't cost any mana. So it's twelve seconds that... but no mana. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But it's long as fuck. Yeah, so that's gonna be really fun in dungeons when people die. It's gonna be like instant wipe. Yeah. Basically. Well, speaking of dungeons, uh, I actually did EHL the other day, and uh, it was all an all level seventy team, and uh, it went by pretty fast, but I did lose my mana a lot for some reason. Mana for um, monks is uh, like shit now. It's not necessarily the mana. It's like the spells cost a lot more mana. So I have like 11k or something, and still, like even with that's a few rapid heals, it takes a lot of it. Yeah, that's what David said, that he, he was like running out of mana fast. Even with the big I mean, pots, I, you run out of it. Yeah, like I can't even regen my mana from claws anymore. It's fucking bull. Yeah. And like morale, I heard, was... Um, really hard to regen too. Oh. I've been questing, I've gotten so much gold, I've been broke. Yeah. So it's really fun now that we can get gold fast. Yeah, uh, you definitely need gold for like the pots and um, I guess also crafting whenever we do that. Yeah. I'm probably not going to start crafting until I have at least like three level 70s. What do you think? What else is there to say? Uh, I went in the arena yesterday and it's the same arenas. Nothing new. Oh. But I mean, they do have the new PvP gear, so that's pretty cool. I was thinking they'd change PvP stuff in like the next update. Maybe they'll add a new dungeon in a couple months. Yeah, I mean, I it'd be cool to see like new areas because we've had the old ones for like, I don't know, nine months maybe. Yeah, it's kind of boring to do the same ones over and over again. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's good that they reset like the whole PvP ranks so that everyone's at a fresh start in, uh, for level 70 and for PvP, which is good. Where do you think world bosses are going to spawn? I was thinking the same thing. I have no idea. I know it's going to be in a PvP zone, but I'm not sure exactly where. Or the new um, mounts. Have you seen any of the new mounts? No, I haven't seen them personally, but I've seen them like uh, on, on Glassboard. Yeah. They look they're pretty, pretty cool. cool. Mm -hmm. I still think my yak's pretty badass, but yeah. they're okay. And uh, for world bosses, I think that they're gonna spawn on those skulls on the map. Uh, there's like mm -hmm. there's like eight skulls on the Underrealm and then seven on the Frostland. I mean, they could spawn at random times and they could be like weekly or something. Or game yeah, they off. are weekly. weekly they are? Events. Oh, okay. So I think it'll be one, like a weekly event, but I don't think it'll be like the world bosses before where it drops gear. I think it's gonna drop the essences I think. Yeah and if it's weekly they must be really really hard like they must take forever to kill because people aren't gonna wait a week for just killing something that's so easy to kill. Yeah it's kind of hard to talk about updates because like most people already know everything but let's let's talk um, about some downsides are there any other downsides? Thousands of people playing at once and it's really laggy. Yeah I mean I've considered like switching servers but it just costs way too many runes. Yeah, I, I, I can't switch. I spent already too much. 
Yeah. And the thing is, oh, the other downside is when you grind, you can't get XP buffs unless you buy the the thirty rune little chest crap. Yeah, but that's I mean, true. even though it gives you five big runes, I mean, bu- five buffs and then the rest, like the wisdom buffs or whatever. Yeah. Still, like, you can't stack them because they don't sell the small ones, and I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's like twenty twenty nine runes for less than five levels, which is pretty good if you're grinding the whole time. It takes like five levels for me because I'm pro like that, but for others, <laughs> for others, it might take a lot longer. Yeah, maybe. I don't know for the ones who don't know where the areas are, the good um, grinding places. Yeah. I mean, those are already taken. I mean, I feel really bad for all the people who are questing and are going really slow and don't know about grinding, but at the same time, I want to keep those spots secret, so. <laughs> Well, I know that some people, some of my friends have done questing and they're already 70. Yeah. I don't know if they quested all the way, but they quested, like, the beginning. Uh-huh. So I don't know. I wonder Which, how long it takes. Long. I have no idea. I've been questing. It's a fucking stupid waste of time. Yeah. But, whatever. Yeah, I did, like, most of the quests in Frostland from levels 68 to 69 on my monk, and it, it only went, like, three-fourths of the way. I don't know if it was most, but it was like at least two different areas that I was at, and it took that long. So, but how long did it take for you to hit sixty-nine to seventy? Um, that took I think two hours, maybe. Um, and that was from grinding. It's one point oh. six million experience that you need. Yeah. It's annoying. I don't have to jump so much because I thought to get to sixty from fifty-nine to sixty, it was like two hundred k. Yeah, I know, and then they made it 800k, that's weird. It's like, holy shit. It's possible they also, um, like, made, uh, 59 to 60, like, 700k. Different. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that too. Because it's like, it was such a big jump. Mm Mm-hmm. I wonder how long it would take to get from, uh, 1 to 60. I don't think anyone knows. Probably like... Or 1 to 70, I mean. Yeah. I mean, with straight grinding, probably like, two days... Like, you can without power sleep. Level now, yeah. Because you can power level. Yeah, you could power level like seventy mobs. I don't know what that takes forever. Yeah. It's gonna suck for everyone who has like fifty alts and has to level all those up. Yeah, I'm feeling that pain right now. I only have one other. I don't even want to level her. Yeah. Well, you only have two. I have five. It's gonna take forever. Yeah, I guess that's because you suck. No. So, what do you think of uh, the the like the race changer and the I heard that. It that appearance was bugged, where if you changed your appearance, you would lose all your mounts. I know that this change does not do that, because change to um, Mendel. Uh-huh. I know there's going to be a lot more Mendels, so people can't get mad at, mad at Mendels for having legendaries. Yeah, I'm not but, I'm not 100% sure about that mount thing, because some people have said they changed races, and then they and still had their mounts. They still had their mounts. So, yeah, that's what it is. It's just appearance change that's screwed up. Oh, okay. So if you appearance change, then you're fucked, basically. Yeah, I, I wanted mean, to change because I think. I don't know who would. Ugly. I don't know who would actually do appearance change. This is 149 runes. Just like change your face. 149 runes. You would do that. I spent 400 on a freaking mouse. Oh, okay. I'm talking to you. Forgot. <laughs> Oh, I don't get in the loading screen. It's Mendel's rising. I, I have passed. I have no freaking idea. That was like four months ago. And then the other thing is, I don't know if it... Before, when I saw the update information like a couple months ago, mm-hmm. I didn't get why it was called Frostland. I thought it was just game lock being retarded and it was supposed to be Frostland. Maybe, but, maybe Frostland is like copyrighted or something. Maybe, because Frostland just sounds... Weird. Sounds like some French developers made that name <laughs> from Game they Loft. They speak English. They speak English? I thought they just used they Google Translate. To. Yeah, I know. But that's <laughs> never gonna happen. Land to land. Have you have you not seen Mary on the forum? It's so obvious. All right, I have I have like two more downsides. The first one is uh, how shitty the T3 gear looks. Oh yeah, it's so ugly. I mean, everybody knows Ew. that, but it's just gross. So I'm probably... I think the melee gear's okay, though. Oh, well, that's good. But I'm, I'm probably just gonna 
be like four out of six for that gear and I'm gonna not wear the chest because it looks it makes everything look really bad like for monks uh, you look like a t1 mage yeah. but it looks like I heard that crappy the so. Christmas gear is screwed up too that I don't think anyone can wear Christmas gear anymore and it was only for mages and monks really yep I heard something was fucked up with that too Okay, well, I mean, it's not Christmas, so I, I guess I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah, but unless they just want to be cool. Well, you don't even celebrate Christmas, I forgot. Okay, I do celebrate Christmas, by the way. I'm not a full Jew. The other downside of this update is the lack of uh, endgame content for level 70s. And you don't really know about this yet, but the only thing there is to do is basically the uh, dailies at Generator's Temple and uh, PvP. That's it. It's nothing else. I, well, I mean, I'm sure they're going to come out with stuff soon because... Probably what not. What are going to do now? Well, yeah. What are we going to do now? That's a good question, but that doesn't mean they're going to come out with something soon. Like, we've had uh, updates every four yeah. months, so... I guess that means that you can level up your tunes and, I don't know, craft. Yeah. Are no you slabbing or are you actually crafting? Uh, I'm probably going to just craft, like, try to get Me gold too. and then craft. Because slabbing is a slab. waste. Yeah. But, I mean, honestly, one way to, like, hold us off for a while is to make world bosses daily instead of weekly, or whatever they are. I mean, then we'd have yeah, something to do. It's harder. Like, there's any more wars. A lot of cranky people yeah. crying. Crying over the boss. <laughs> it's going to be funny. I can't wait to see the glass board. Wars. I can't wait to see everyone attacking Xena's side just because we're awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, I'm not gonna lie. I've missed it. All, I've missed since World Bosses disappeared, all the whining. It was, it was really funny. All the little angry people Ten -year -olds. who were like, You yeah. stole my World Boss. Yep. You suck. Is there anything else? If you can come up with something, let me know. I need to get more pets. I want more cute pets. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I definitely want to hear about that. <clears throat> and I want that, I want that chinchilla. I want to see what the hell is a watermelon chinchilla. It just sounds weird. It doesn't exist. It's all a conspiracy. It doesn't? It's a conspiracy. Oh. Yeah, you didn't know? Well, I just want, like, a chinchilla. I want the new chinchilla. Whatever the new chinchilla is, I want it. Okay. Uh, You're not uh, even a Mandel, but okay. What? I don't care. I have like all mounts except for undead. Yeah. Screw undead mounts. It's just so ugly. So I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. So that's it for our ordering chaos discussion about the level seventy update. I'll be talking about this in the future, obviously, on later episodes. So thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, thanks. Key is awesome. Yeah, Kia's awesome. Kiara the Great. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Elf My Life is the crappiest among the Alright, I'm ending this uh, podcast. Alright, guys. So now it's time for the question of the week. The question of the week this week is... Are you happy with green and blue gear replacing your 60 gear? So, if you feel like answering, tell me below. And I'm pretty sure not a lot of people will be happy with this. But, um, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, I'll probably be having another Ordering Chaos discussion. And that will be out on the 30th. So, look forward to that. But, until then, I will continue having my series, Elf This, Life of Mendel, The Worst Warrior, and Area of Effect. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm gonna go do something else. Probably like level my other characters. So what am I? What am I doing? Bye, guys. Just, just bye. <laughs>